Okay, so this is a video for Bobby. Bobby wants to take this claw image and this baseball image and merge them together. She has someone who likes the idea of a claw holding a baseball but doesn't like the stripes on this baseball. <coughs> so she wants to know how to put these together into an SVG file. So right now these are both images that were just taken from the internet. This is, you can look down here and see this is an image. And if I click on this one, and look down here, this is also an image. So the first thing we need to do is trace both of these. So for this one, I'm just going to go to a path, trace bitmap, and um, the threshold here is usually 0.45, brightness cut off, and we'll just do that. Okay, so there's that trace, it looks pretty good. And for this one, we'll have to do a little bit of a different trace. Um, We'll do colors, remove background. Um, we don't want it to stack scans. <laughs> Let me try that again. Remove background. Okay, that's what I wanted right there. So it's remove background and don't stack scans. And then we'll need to ungroup that because right now you can see it's a group of two objects. It's the black and the red. So we'll say Control Shift G to ungroup, which is the same as object ungroup. Okay, so now those are separate. We can take, that's the image. We'll pull that out of the way so we don't grab it by accident. And that's the claw image. So we'll pull that out of the way. Now we want to superimpose these two together. So, let me zoom in a little. I'm pressing the plus key on the keyboard. And I'm going to select both of those and pull them up. Try to get it fairly centered with the original baseball. And then I'm just going to hold down the control and shift key and drag the little arrows off to the side to get it to be about the right size. Let me zoom in a little more. And I'm using the arrow keys on the keyboard to move it around to get it lined up just right. Okay, so that looks pretty good. <coughs> All right, so now what we want to do is we want to cut the, um, we want to take the, the claw and cut it out of the baseball because we don't want these lines running through. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do so you can see what I'm doing is just pull the claw off to the side. Now normally what you do when you want to subtract something like that, you break it apart and use it to subtract from the other. But if I do that here, it's going to leave me the shape of a baseball too, so that's not going to work. So I need to get rid of this baseball in here. And I think the easiest way to do that is to draw a shape. So I'm going to take the Bezier tool, click on it, and... Um, I'll just go ahead and show you Control shift f to open the Fill panel. So my stroke, um, I guess I don't have anything selected. I'm going to select something for my stroke paint. It's going to be purple, and the stroke width is going to be, let's just change it to one pixel. Okay, so now I'm going to take, and I'm going to just chop out this baseball that's in here. And it doesn't have to be all that exact. I'm just clicking wherever I want it to put a node in. And I want to take out all the baseball stitches as well. So I'm just clicking. If you have your snap tools on, you're going to want to turn them off for this. Okay, and then we're going to come in here and we're going to try to replicate the outline of the claw there. So I'm going to click here and then I'm just going to click all around and join it back up. Okay, so now I have this little purple shape. Let me make the stroke a little bit bigger so it shows up. Just changing it. Two pixels. Oh, I see a problem here I need to change. Somehow I got that. I'm just pulling that down. Okay, so we don't want it going over the claws in any, in any place. Okay, so now that's on the top. I drew that on top of the claw. So that's selected, and I'm going to hold down the Shift key and select the claw as well. So now both of those are selected. The shape I drew is on top. That's important. 
and now I go to path difference. Okay, so that chopped out that part of the baseball that the claw was originally holding. Now let's move it back over to the baseball that we do want in there and get it lined up. Now normally I would do these things on top of each other so I didn't have to line it back up again, but it makes it hard to see if you don't, if you're not used to working with Inkscape. So I just got to get it lined back up again. Okay, and you can take your time and do this more carefully than I'm doing it. I'm just trying to hurry. Okay, so now, now what we need to do, and I believe that she wanted the baseball rotated a little bit, so let's see if I can select both of those things. Click again, and now I'm going to rotate like, you know, however you want it. All right, so now we just need to get rid of the circle here that's going through the claws. And now it's easy because we've deleted that other part that we don't need. So here's the claw. I'm going to duplicate it by pressing Control D on the keyboard. And you can't see that it did anything, but if I pull that off to the side, you can see that now there's a duplicate of the claw. So I'm going to press Control Z to put it back. Now I'm going to break that apart by doing path break apart. And that fills in everything, breaks it down into all its component shapes, but now I'm going to union it together so it's one solid piece. Path, union. Okay, now you can see, let me zoom out a little. On top we have this, that kind of looks like Elvis's hair, and then we have the original underneath. So Control Z to put it right back where it was. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use this solid piece to subtract from the red layer and this other black layer. So I'm going to duplicate it because I need two copies. Control D to duplicate. All right. Now with the top duplicate selected, I'm also going to hold down the shift key and select the red. And then I'm going to go to path difference. All right. Doesn't seem like it did anything, but if I pull that down, you can see it did chop off the portion of the red that the black was covering. So control Z to put it back. I'm going to do the same thing because it didn't do it to the black. That's a totally separate layer. Control Z to put the black back. All right, now I select this next duplicate that I made of the unioned claw and I hold down shift and select the baseball and then again do path difference. All right, now you can see that looks good. We got the circle subtracted out of the, um, out of the claws. The only thing left we need to do, if you see these two black areas are um, two separate objects. So let me do Control Z to put that back. With the claw selected and the baseball outline selected, I'm going to go to Path Union to stick those together. All right. Now they're all one piece. And the red is all one piece and it's got little chopped out areas, so that should work. Now if you needed to fill the baseball in white, you could do that. Um, probably the simplest way to do it would be to pull that off to the side. Then we can pick our paint bucket, click off of the, the stripes, click off, make sure nothing is selected, then click on the paint bucket and pick a color to fill the baseball with. I'm going to use gray and you fill it in. Now if I go to the selector tool you can see that's its own layer. And then you can put the stripes back. I'll have to move them to the top by pressing the home key. And then I can just use the arrow keys to line those up where they need to go. Okay, so that's how you would do that. Basically, you're just manipulating this claw. You have to take some, subtract some parts out of it in order to make it a good outline to use to difference from the baseball. And um, that's all you need to do. Thanks for watching.